Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my Let's Play of Larry Merck's Magic Show. And we are on the second of four secret rooms, I believe. And. Ugh, okay, I have a feeling this is going to be one about movement ordering, uh, which is everyone's favorite part of Drod. Absolute favorite. So it looks like we're going to need to. Well, let's just see what we can do. Now, these tar babies, which one goes first? Mud baby. So in order to space these out properly, I'm going to need the basically the mud baby to be at my sword. So let's see if I can't. See, I see. I need to somehow switch this order around. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Um. Actually, let's give myself some space here. So this I can't really control. I wonder if I can. Ooh. go. Okay, so I want to actually, yeah, that's perfect. The blue one to slide over across my sword into this position is actually ideal. And then, okay, that's not ideal, but this would be if I step downwards like that, then yes, they're spaced out just like I want them to. Boop. Perfect. Well, now let's see if I can repeat that operation on the other side. What did I do? I lifted just so I could get into position for the sliding, because I really have like no moves to work with here. Um, and then what did I do? No, I turned. Okay, good. I can do the same thing on the other side. Okay, that was not too bad to figure out. <sighs> no, this is going to probably be the harder part, isn't it? What can I do with you? See, I can't do a whole lot with these. Uh, roaches until at least one of the eyes is out. So which is it going to be? See, I need to be actually able to get into that position right there where I would activate it and it doesn't do me any good there. So I think one of the eyes has to be activated first and placed into a position like that or something mm -hmm. like that so that I can use uh, this position so I can get these at least turned around. Now I'm going to need, I can't place one immediately in this one because I'm going to need at least one to be alive. So I need to place this one and this one, and then this one will be last. So that I, so I need to manipulate this one. This is 10 and 9 and 4. So that one's way before. Um, so be, ideally, I would, let's see, I would want him to be behind to get into that position. Or rather, I think I want to start with this one, fill that in. And because that way I can just do these two at once. I can get these two. These are separated by just enough. I should be able to work that out. Alright, so what was I doing? Yes, I'm just going to try to fill in this particular force arrow because doing these separately would seem so silly because. I think, yeah, I think I just doing. trying to get these two roaches into the same position that I have these tarring mud babies and then just doing it all at once would be a more suitable. Uh, feet of strength. So let's see if I can't make something like I did before. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, ooh, I'm going to have to turn my sword though. Um, so I don't smack my eye over here. Boop, like that. Looks good to me. Now, what do I do? I can. Oh, this is going to be weird. Mm -hmm. I can stick you up there. Okay, yeah. can you go over there? Just hang out for a hot second. There we go. So which one's first here? Which one do I want to be? Hot roach number ten. Hot roach number. Uh, can I get you both? Oh god, if I had done that backwards, that would have been awful. <laughs> like as if I had done this in reverse. Man, that was just a lucky guess. That roach would have instead of moved here, and then I would never been able because of free preference. The, the next turn would have been here. They never would have. But now I have every opportunity to manipulate them like so. In fact, I can do it very similar to how I did this thing, and the, once again, they're all spaced out. Perfect. Well, that wasn't hard at all. Okay, and I can now do this. And sure enough, don't leave the room early, and murderize. 
organize everything. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Some pretty cool movement ordering stuff, actually. That was maybe one of the better monster movement order puzzles I've done in a long time. Okay, so now we are... What haven't I done yet? Yes, this one has two secrets that I haven't done. Uh, and I've gotten this one. Okay, so... There's three secrets, actually. What? How are there three secrets? Did I miss something obvious? Oh, dear. Oh, oh wait a minute. <laughs> I think I did. Maybe? I can't really tell if that counts. Let's just restore here and find out. So, oh god, how did I do this room? Uh, can I restore past that point and just... This is, this is completed now? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, so I can step here and let's see if I can't find that. Oh my god, there are three secrets. <laughs> oh no! Uh, okay, so apparently I need to enter this room properly. I'm going to stick this here, exit, and then what was it? I actually didn't look at the orientation. Looks like down is where I need to face things, so... Let's place that here, step out, step in, place this. Twin towers. Now I will cut through two towers of uncuttable tar. Yes, I know the tar will be cuttable, which is why I perform this act facing south the entire time. Dear sweet zombie. So what's the deal here? Is there a black door that I'm not seeing? can do this, so what is... I see. I can't... Mm. Um, hold on, let me see if I can't... No, that doesn't sound like that bad of a problem. Maybe? Okay. What's so bad about that? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work out, is it? Dear good golly, Miss Molly. Okay. So this seems like the right-ish idea. Uh where I do something pertaining to... Because this can't grow out here, because I can't cut it if it's on the corner. So what on earth am I doing here? Oh, why, 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 why? I can't, and I'm not going to be able to cut that. Because of the babies. Okay, so ooh, don't know what's going on anymore. Does that have something to do with movement? No, I can't. It shouldn't matter one bit. Can it? No. There's almost like no way I see how to do this the right way. So let's just... If I go ahead and go like that... And then skip over hmm. here to... And then you do that. Okay. Hmm. That seems kind of like a problem. <clears throat> All right. So this is yeah. I'd have to do it that way, but then this becomes an issue. Oh boy, Larry, you are clever. I think I see how this is going to work out, but I'm not looking forward to it even a little bit. All right. So. Oh boy, how is that timing going to work? 
let me think, let me think, let me think, let me pause. You know what? I have a feeling I know exactly how it's going to work out. I'm going to break both of these. And then do something like this. And then somehow space these out so that on just the right turn, they are all ready to go. So, because... Um... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to fill these up on both sides, I'm pretty sure. So let's do that way. And now I'm going to assume that, yeah, alright, so this is going to just be just perfect timing. Let's see if I can't make that work out. Alright, so come on now. Dang it. See, it's going to be symmetrical on both sides, so whatever I make occur has to be done just so. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> what a terrible... Alright, anyway, I have the idea, I think. I just need to finagle it a little bit. This has been your host, Pearls, doing my Let's Play of The Secrets in Magic Show, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.